Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. We continue our discussion with Matt von Conrad by exploring the unique structures called oil bodies that are found inside the cells of liverworts. My name is Matt von Conrad and I am a collections manager and adjunct curator in bryophytes or early land plants at the Field Museum. These oil bodies are really cool, they're unique to liverworts or these early land plants and they're found in no other plant group. They have remarkable variation in shape, size, number and even in colour. So they're really cool. They even have different surface texture and they are cellular inclusions in the cell. So they're found inside a cell. And as a plant systematist or someone who documents plant diversity, we actually use these unique structures called oil bodies to help us distinguish between different species and use it as a character to distinguish between different species and understand species relationships. It turns out that these oil bodies have really neat or interesting chemical properties. So, for instance, uh, we published a paper with colleagues in Japan who extract the chemical compounds from these oil bodies and they identify the compounds and then they test for biological properties. And some of them have activity against certain cancer cell lines or activity against fungi or bacteria and microbes and so on. And scientists are not too sure of the precise function of these oil bodies that are inside the cells of these early land plants or liverworts. But one hypothesis is that they act as a sort of an antifeedant or anti-herbivory agent, preventing animals or insects from, or discouraging them from eating the plant. Because these oil bodies um, contain all sorts of really nasty, toxic, chemical compounds. Another one is actually um, that they might act as an anti-freezing agent. But really scientists uh, are not too sure. These oil bodies that are found inside the cells, they actually disappear upon drying out of the specimen. So they're only available for observation in live plants. So it's absolutely critical to um, examine these structures in live material. So when we're in the field we try and uh, keep some material live, some representative specimens live. So we would bring them back to the lab, look at them under the microscope because of course they're cellular um, organelles, they're only observable under the microscope and record these features and we would also image them because nowadays we have uh, digital cameras attached to the microscope where we can obtain uh, microscopic images. And so it means we have a permanent record of these really cool structures that would uh, otherwise disappear upon drying when we deposit the material in a herbarium, which is where we would, um, it's where scientists and plant collectors lodge their material that they've collected from the field to be available for other scientists and students for their research worldwide and so on.